Hey you guys, it's your boy Strong Bean here and welcome to another video. This time I'm presenting you my top 5 favorite Pokemon cards in my collection. So before we get into this video guys, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. And now let's get into this video, let's go! So, coming in at number 5 is... From Vivid Voltage, number 170 out of 185, it's Pikachu V Full Art. I had to include the Pikachu in there, and this Pikachu artwork is simply one of the best artworks out there. When Vivid Voltage came out, I actually managed to pull this card, but I eventually sold it because it was worth some money at the time. But just a few weeks ago, a friend of mine, he had this card for trade, so I went ahead and got myself this card back through a trade. So now I have this card finally back in my collection and it's my number 5 spot. Coming in at number 4 is number 201 out of 214 from Unbroken Bonds. It's Greninja and Zoroark GX Tag Team. You already knew that Greninja had to make an appearance in this top 5 list. Released back in Unbroken Bonds, this Greninja card alongside Zoroark is one of the most beautiful Greninja artworks there is. They are both just chilling there on a tree and it simply fits. This card really does show some friendship between uh, Greninja and Zoroark. So that's another reason why I really love this card and as it symbolizes a bit of a friendship going on. So yeah, that's my number 4. So, coming in at number 3 is... Number 85 out of 69 from EV Heroes, it just came out. It's the Umbreon V alternative artwork that was released like I think one or two months ago. As we all know, the Japanese side EV Heroes has some amazing artworks in there. And this card is actually one of them. So I did open an EV Heroes display here on the channel and I actually pulled an Aspion V alternative artwork. So later on, I got the opportunity to trade that Aspion for an Umbreon. And because Umbreon is actually my favorite out of all of the Evolutions, I just couldn't say no to that trade. So I traded my Aspion for this Umbreon and this is now my number three. So now coming in at spot number two is number 155 out of 163 from Battle Stars. It's not other than the sleeping Tyranitar V alternative art. This Tyranitar sleeping because he ate too much. That's most of us. This card was actually introduced to us in uh, Battle Styles and I actually managed to pull this one. This was my, my most chased after card in the set. And I actually managed to pull it like in the first ETB. It was my fourth pack or something. Sadly, I wasn't recording that ETB. I was opening it, I was opening it just for myself. But yeah, this card will never leave my collection. And finally, coming in at number one, number 120 from 131 from Forbidden Lights. Of course, it had to be a Greninja card, guys. Like many of you know, Greninja is indeed my favorite Pokemon of all time. So this card here means absolutely a lot to me and it just looks, looks absolutely fantastic. The uh, blue color with the effect it has on it just simply fits Greninja. Simply amazing. I was debating on whether I should get this card graded, but I'd rather keep this card in a binder rather than on a shelf. So that's why I haven't got this card graded. So there you go guys, that was my top 5 favorite Pokemon cards in my collection. Do you want to see like my top 5 cards that I don't own personally? I could do that actually. If you have any more ideas for other top 5 or top 10 videos, just let me know down in the comments or just hit me up on Instagram, link is in the description. So like always guys, leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel, that's the most important part. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.